just moving on from the uh, pontoon moorings in Wigan, which are very good. It's quieter than you might think as well. On a quest for water, because there seems to be a dearth of water points. You pay your license fee and they supply nothing. So this whole area is known as Wigan Pier, which uh, back in the day was a big coal um, centre. They used to uh, load coal onto trains. Hello. Hello. Mm. Some nice bedding plants over there. not long before you're back out in the rural setting. Big part plot of land there which I suspect they use for parking when there's a rugby match on at the DW Stadium That's the home of the Wigan FC Football Club and the Wigan Warriors Rugby. Looks like wrote somebody spiked Rosie and Jim on that fence. Look, I bet that made them squeal. We've got uh, some balconies. And they are overlooking a rural 
aspect as well. path on this stretch has been uh, upgraded recently I would say as well as all nicely asphalted wonderful for the cyclists who then go too fast to knock the pedestrians down Probably think they're building the M1. boat there called the Kennet. Oh Nelly looks like she's on her last legs. Yet another canal side hostelry that's fallen into disuse and dereliction. the M6 high above us. Oh, lots of traffic, people rushing to and rushing from. Well, 
is his Dean lock, the M6 immediately above it. So it's in a very nice spot, nice countryside. And there was a double lock here at one time, which is now unused and unloved and in dereliction. I'm going to go and have a look at that in a minute. A sweet cottage there by the lock side. And fortunately, there's a water point. Hurrah! So at Dean Lock there were uh, two locks side by side. One of them is now unused and has fallen into disrepair. That's uh, what remains of the old lock gates. And there's a dam water barrier being put there to hold the water back out of it. But it's all in the shadow of the M6. What would they have thought of that back in the day when they cut this canal? Well, the bottom lock gates are still relatively intact. Actually, it's a nice vista here. Shame about the traffic noise. There's some extensive bank and towpath improvements going on here. Make it a lot easier for mooring with the shuttering they've put there. And there's a bicycle wheel just floating along in the canal. It's all high drama. So, moored up on the Lees and Liverpool Canal after Dean Lock. It's turned out to be a really nice, warm day. First one for ages and ages, really warm. Going to sit outside tonight, have a couple of drinks. Haven't been able to do that for a while. I'm going to get the, uh, the gas barbie out and cook the dinner on that tonight, which makes a really pleasant change, I must say. But the other thing of interest is, my word, they've done some work on this towpath. It's better than the M1. And uh, already we've had a couple of motorcycles going up and down it. 
you couldn't make it up really because you anyway that's enough of me whinging I'm going to enjoy the evening it's the first really nice evening we've had for a long time and the colours across the canal as the sun sets really nice And now the sun has gone to bed. It's perfect evening. There's not a breath of wind and it's lovely and warm still. We haven't had many of those this summer. Sunset over the canal. Well, that's a well decorated house. A row of cottages on the canal side. This is a close up of that house you can see from the canal bank. It's actually called Rotten Victorian Rose Cottage. Well, the ducks appreciate it. There's um, a small tree has fallen down. It's blocked the whole width of the canal. So we wouldn't be able to go anywhere until they come and remove that anyway. And that's at Apley Bridge on the Leeds and Liverpool. Well, there's the giant hog weave on the uh, prowl in this part of the world. Well, it's another section where there used to be two locks side by side and one side is now disused. Nature's taken over again. That's a set of three locks at Apley Junction. Well, that's a nice vista from the first of the set of Three locks just past that Apley Junction in the direction of Liverpool. And that's the other end of that lock. Morning. Hiya. That's well, a great old bridge with the canal and the train immediately above it. Lovely, nice stonework on that. All the lovely wild flowers as well. Uh, it's on top of the bridge with the railway embankment. And a magnificent show of wild flowers on the railway embankment there. Really, really nice. Looks like the rows of parabole. 12 foot wide beam has managed to dislodge that branch and push its way through. As you can see where it's broken off from. So there's a plastic boat now coming up to where this branch is. What's he going to do? Well, he's going to try and push that through on the bank side rather than drive it through. Easier said than done. Well, it looks like he's possibly just about going to manage it. <laughs> 